wonderful to be here with my colleague Senator Mark Bibb, with so many people from the Mission Australia family, with uh, others from other areas of the homelessness sector. It's great to see you all today. Thank you. Um, ICON for Exit is a testament to the dedication, innovation and foresight of Mission Australia and, um, and for the willingness of Mission Australia to try new ways of working. We've spoken a number of times about what Campbell House was like when it was here. Campbell House provided 30 years of overnight services for men um, and it was a very different model of accommodation. It was a model that was much needed at the time. People often use that, um, that description. They say it's, uh, you know, some of us are stopping people, some of us are catching people at the bottom of the cliff once they've fallen over and others are trying to stop us falling over. But I think Campbell House's job was at the bottom of the cliff catching people who'd fallen over, but there has always been and still is a need for people to work um, with the most disadvantaged, most hard off homeless people in Australia, and that's what Campbell House was doing. But there wasn't, um, as Toby was saying, the, the ability with that model to really move people out of homelessness. And in, in our white paper and in many of the conversations that I've had with many of you in this room, you know that it's our uh, intention as a government and I believe your intention as people working with homeless Australians to prevent homelessness, to turn off the tap, to stop people becoming homeless in the first place, wherever we can, to prevent people cycling through homeless services. And Toby was talking about how you'd see so many of the same places. And, you know, I'm, I've got an inner city electorate. I, I've so been seeing a lot of familiar faces on the streets for, for years, years. Um, people that we haven't managed to help with the models of service that we've, that we've offered. Um, and we want to, uh, so we want to break those cycles of homelessness and we want to end homelessness for people, not just alleviate it. And um, an icon for exit tells the story of Mission Australia's attempt to move from catching people at the bottom of the cliff to stopping them falling over in the first place. It tells the story of people like Sean, who um, uh, obviously had a raging gambling habit. I think probably many of you have had clients with raging gambling habits and know the chaos that it can uh, create in a life, uh, as well as um, significant um, mental illness. Or David, who um, was, uh, you know, challenged by regular drug use and who, like Sean, has now found work in a home. It was wonderful to hear from Paul. I think Paul had to step in a little bit at the last minute because um, uh, although um, three other people had been asked to speak, they've all got jobs. Isn't that a fantastic problem to have when your speakers <laughs> keep falling over because they keep getting jobs? And Paul, I think you've got a job interview this afternoon, is that right? every single person in this room wishes you the very best with that. Um, so we've seen the sort of lives turned around and not, not just those critical, practical things like work, um, healthcare services, but also allowing people um, to reach within themselves and express themselves through art, through drama, a production of Midsummer Night's Dream, I believe. Anyone in the audience participate in that or come and see it. I wanted to hear some theatre reviews of Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, it's, uh, it's this picture that an icon for exit shows and it's that range of services um, that support the whole person, that look at the issues that caused someone to become homeless in the first place and seek to address those underlying issues. They're the things that um, the Prime Minister was talking about when he chose this centre um, to launch our homelessness white paper. The white paper set out our vision for tackling homelessness in Australia and the strategies we have for achieving that vision. We set um, ambitious targets, uh, targets that are ambitious but achievable, of halving overall homelessness by 2020 and being able to offer accommodation to all rough sleepers who seek it by 2020. They are ambitious goals but they are, they are achievable. Um, with the white paper came a commitment. Um, we know that this model that serves fewer people at one time but serves them more intensely is more likely to have better results. But we still have vast numbers of people who experience
experience homelessness. So with our, our ambitious goals came extra funding, $1.1 billion of extra funding for homelessness services. And um, those services are starting to be rolled out. I've got to say I'm probably as impatient as anyone because there is such a huge task ahead of us. But in the state and territory implementation plans, we see 40 new homelessness services offering 1,600 beds as a start. We see um, the, uh, the type of services that we, um, we wrote about in the white paper, things like the um, different uh, um, community engagement offices that uh, Centrelink have established and uh, Centrelink changing to offering weekly payments for the, their most vulnerable clients.